Hello, and welcome to Read Along with Heather. Today, we will be reading Jillian Jiggs to the Rescue by Phoebe Gilman. The moon had just risen high over the hill. The stars were all about. It was quiet and still. But instead of the sound of snoring and sleeping, Jillian Jiggs heard somebody weeping. I'm scared of the monster, said her little sister. Jillian held her and Jillian kissed her. It's okay, Rebecca. Get into my bed. I'll chase that bad monster right out of your head. And then in the morning, you know what we'll do? We'll show that bad monster that he can't scare you. And this was, and this is what happened the very next day, when Rachel and Peter came over to play. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Peter. Quick, get inside. The monster might catch you, Jillian cried. He's scaring Rebecca. He's mangy. He's mean. To stop him, we're making... A monster machine. This monster machine will shrink him so small, he'll be squished, he'll be squashed, he'll be nothing at all. We'll help, Peter said. Four is better than two. You can never tell what a monster might do. They worked the whole morning and when they were done, Jillian warmed them, this won't be all fun. Remember the magic word, Kalamazoo. Makes you strong and monster-proof, too. That mangy, mean monster can't scare us, you know. Are you ready, Rebecca? Come on now. Let's go. Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo. Monster, you're meatloaf. Monster, you're through. Our monster machine will shrink you so small. You'll be squished. You'll be squashed. You will be nothing at all. They had to be sneaky and circle around, looking for clues that may lay deep underground. They followed the tracks. They were fearless and steady. They never gave up. They were rough, tough, and ready. Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo, monster you're beat loaf, monster you're through. Our monster machine will shrink you so small, you'll be squished, you'll be squashed, you'll be nothing at all. The monster was clever, he kept out of sight. He knew he'd be stronger much later at night. But deep in the forest, the road turned and dipped. And he wasn't cheerful. He stumbled and tripped. Shh, said Rebecca. Did you hear that thumping? Look over there. The bushes are bumping. It's him. It's the monster. He's lurking in here, said Jillian Jakes. Better beware. Oh, no, said Rebecca. Remember, he's mean. This looks like a job for the monster machine. They filled a big pot with some green grass and dirt and smushed it together for monster dessert. The pot was then left by the monster machine and all of them hid where they couldn't be seen. Get down, said Rebecca. The monster's awake. The monster came nearer. They felt the ground shake. Nearer and nearer until... The box snapped. Aha, said Rebecca. Monster, you're trapped. Kalamazoo, Kalamazoo. Monster, you're meatloaf. Monster, you're through. 
Our monster machine will shrink you so small, you'll be squashed, you'll be squashed, you'll be nothing at all. They switch the great switch on the monster machine. We'll squish him, uh, squash him down to the size of a bean. The clickers were chuckling, the light started the clickers were clicking, the light started blinking. Yes, said Rebecca. The monster is shrinking. Monster, oh monster, why are you mean? Why do you roar and shout in her dream? Monster, oh monster, why are you bad? I think, said Rebecca, I think he's sad. He may have been lonely and needed friends like you. He may, might have been angry and that's why he grew. We better shrink him a little bit more, then he won't scare you like that anymore. Stop, said Rebecca. Enough is enough. They didn't listen. They kept acting through. They didn't listen. They kept right on going. The squishing and squashing showed no sign of slowing. Then the monster began bumping out. Look, said Rebecca. He wants to get out. Can't we be friends? Can't he play too? The monster agreed. The monster said... And that's the end of Jillian Jiggs to the rescue.